Welcome back. All eyes on President Trump and Kim Jong-un ahead of the historic summit. New reports now saying that some of his attention could be sinister. Authorities warning about a potential wave of Chinese spies planted all over Singapore, bugging hotel rooms, infiltrating summit staff. So what is the U.S. doing to stop them? Here with Intel, senior fellow at the Center for Digital Government, Morgan Wright. Morgan, Always good to have you with us. This is a, Hi, Abby. A, a part of this whole story, maybe one of the most important pieces of it, because when right. it comes to spying, China might be one of the most sophisticated when it comes to that. What is the U.S. intel doing to try and combat this? Is it even possible? No, it's possible, but you know, it's one of those things. You take some basic countermeasures. Look, the Chinese are going to try and give out lots of everything from room keys to phones. Mm -hmm. Remember, they just banned Huawei and ZTE phones on military basis. Finally, you know, we've had a lot of issues with that. So there's, you know, it's the technical compromise, but what's even more important is the human compromise of this. They've been on that island for a long time, but very focused on it now, trying to compromise everybody from the wait staff to people working at the hotel at the airport, mm -hmm. not only in Singapore, but in China, in the United States. And by the way, that OPM breach, Office of Personnel Management from 2015, guess what? That's paying big dividends for the Chinese right now. Yeah. So it, the way it's set up, Sentosa is sort of an island off of Singapore. You have to go over a bridge or through a subway to get there, right. which is probably why they picked that specific location. They can close it off from everybody else. Is there a place uh, in the hotel that you know for sure will not be bugged, where they're going to be meeting potentially, where you don't, you have no concerns about that? You always have concerns. You never say never. That's one of the, you know, the lessons you learn in the intelligence community. But what I guarantee you what they will do is they will have the best of the best uh, from the White House, from WACA, from all the other agencies. They will sweep that room. They'll lock it down. They'll protect it. Anybody that's looking at classified material is going to be, you know, uh, inside of tents, inside of places where you can't even have cameras looking mm -hmm. at that. The biggest thing the Chinese want access to, besides our people, is what information do we have that we will be used for our negotiations? Because that'll give them an idea of our capabilities, how we're monitoring North Korea, have we penetrated their networks. So the Chinese are learning to find out what our capabilities are as much as what our negotiating position is. Yeah, I mean, we forget China is 90 percent of trade with North Korea. They are basically the ones that yes. keep North Korea afloat. So they care more than anybody yeah, yeah. about how right. this summit goes down. Morgan Wright, great to have your expertise this morning. You bet, Abby. Thank you.